brought to you by GTA. We start with you. They have such a complex documentation system that I can see why there's a lot of delays um, and I can see why there's a lot of confusion in the public about what happens with PUA. The new Labor Secretary says there are still 1,000 people being processed for pandemic unemployment assistance and another 1,400 on appeal. But there's some good news. The program, which was supposed to end in June, was granted an extension to June 2024 to allow for PUA staff to process those cases. I know that it is very frustrating for the community, but I want to assure everyone that the money for PUA is there and that if you have a case that is awaiting, it will be addressed. Another cause of the delay is staff employment. Because PUA is a, not a um, long-term program, the way that they renew people is in short uh, increments, and they, so they can't, be, they can't have a contract, a working contract, longer than three months. She says that creates instability for employees who decide to seek other jobs, leaving a case file for someone new to pick up, basically restarting the process. Meanwhile, Staffler, who just finished her first week on the job, is working to keep up with federal requirements facing delays due to lack of documentation from the time of former Secretary of Finance David Atalik. We've actually met some of the goals that were set for us um, from the U.S. side to reach 50 percent of uh, uh, U.S. workers employed. We're at 52 percent, I believe, uh, and we would love to see that number to continue to grow. She says now is the right time to get help applying for jobs at the Department of Labor. Staffler, a former Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor, was appointed in an acting capacity by Governor Arno Palacios and is expected to undergo a Senate confirmation hearing. Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News, Saipan.